Well, the whole head of confidence too, Hasley Harlan, after picking up that win at the shortened race at Long Beach just a few weeks ago in California, now really starting to push, and the dude buys oh, into oh, the oh. argument. Line Dyke is being shifted here at the top of the circuit. Look at these guys coming together, really cutting in the grass right there. They have to do it, because if you don't, the next guy's going to cut it in farther on you. Here it is. Force to do it. Look at Here is Harlan. Oh, no! no! Squeezed at the last moment, and trucks scattering everywhere, including Cole Potts, who came in at a high rate of knots. We're gonna wow. Have, we're going to have... On here, here's the replay, looking outside. So, Lion Dyke comes down the corner. Harlan saw a gap there, and then Lion Dyke, they ran out of ramp, basically. And lucky not to roll oh, it any further. He got, he, he got so lucky on that yeah, one. Very lucky. Look at Potts. Wow. He pulled out behind Brabham, unsighted. Wow. Wild ride right there, and here it is one more time. Two of them getting together a little bit. It was milliseconds. Yeah. I Reflexes mean, would have even helped on that one. And watch Potts arrive on the scene here. Oh. Let's see it one more time here. Harlan, real racy, real racy, finding another gear. Goes to the inside. Am I able to make it happen? Not a lot of ramp. Enough to get over it until he got bumped a little bit. There is one father that is in the United States right now watching and saying, I'll remind that bump my kid off the jump. I think it was kind of a racing incident there. It happens, but uh, I guess it's uh, who you are to decide uh, what, what your opinion is on that. And they're going to get the 55 As back onto all four wheels. They roll them over. They're built tough. These stadium super trucks, he'll refire it. He's fired up. It will have to come from the back of the field here as time is starting to beat us with three on the scoreboard still. Right, Great work by the crew here today. They've been really busy 